blasting. It's the standard way to turn big rocks into small rocks, whether for construction or mining. Blasting agents like ammonium nitrate, trinitrotoluene, or nitroglycerin all have one thing in common. They have a lot of nitrogen in them. That's fine on Earth because our atmosphere is packed with this stuff, but Mars hardly has an atmosphere and very little of it is nitrogen. Since exploding is like a really fast version of burning, the oxygen plays a huge role here, too. One compound that's common on Mars with a lot of oxygen is perchlorate. But can we use it to make a blasting agent that would work on Mars? Let's find out. It's poisonous, so I'm wearing gloves as I weigh out an oxygen-balanced composition. The oxygen needs something to burn, so I tried some metals, some ancient roofing tar, and some wax. Now, I'm hoping these things will explode, so clearly safety is a, is a big issue. Step one was to get a hot plate and just warm them up to 100C to dry them out, and now I am gently hitting them with a propane torch just to see if they will burn in air. Oh, that burns nicely. Uh, so it looks like the wax just uh, melts away and vanishes before the perchlorate starts to decompose, so it'll, it can get the wax to catch on fire, but that's not the same as actually exploding. That, uh, that looks great. So these are tiny, there's 10 milligrams of each composition here, and none of the rest of them actually burned at all. So my metals might be too big to actually burn rapidly here. My next step was to measure their explosive force. So here I'm calibrating a little steel test tube with nitrocellulose. Okay, that worked. I'll try a little more. Yeah, I seem to be calibrated. Let me try some perchlorate blasting composition. Holy crap, that actually works better than nitrocellulose. That it worked so well, in fact, that, uh, hmm, wait a sec. Yeah, there's the, I guess the tarp knew the risks when it uh, went over my blast pit. So I'm ready to blast some rocks here. This is clearly the next, the next step. So grab my hammer drill, made a hole in a big chunk of quartz. This is a, about an eight kilogram rock. It's, it's big, it's heavy, it's pretty thick, monolithic, no obvious fractures going through the thing. So as you drill it, oh, those are, Dang, those are cool standing wave patterns made by the rock dust. Okay, now I load up just half a gram of my perchlorate blasting composition, and it would just pop its way out of there. So I'm going to pour in a little bit of plaster. This is called stemming in blasting. It just holds the charge down in the hole. And then I'm a little worried that I may have to pull this thing out. So I add a threaded rod just in case the charge doesn't go off, then I have some way to get back down in there. Now I'm ready to just put it face down into my hole. Uh, this is my little blasting pit. Now there's sand in all directions around this thing, so if it does shatter then I should be relatively safe. But uh, rock chips could fly uh, up in the air, so I put a bag of wet sand on top of it. Fire in the hole! Now that blasted, so that's, that's good, but it didn't break the rock. What, what does it look like under there? What went wrong? Well, ah, I see. It ejected that little plaster stemming and didn't actually fracture the piece of quartz. Adding more composition. Now, this is a gram of perchlorate tar or sulfur. It's, it's not very much, uh, but you'll, you'll see what, uh, what it actually does. So this is the same rock, same chunk of quartz. I uh, was getting a little cavalier thinking like, well, probably not super important to be completely sealed in. Fire in the hole. Whoa, okay. That looks like a blasted rock. So we've broken that big chunk of quartz up into several small chunks of quartz. Uh, a few little rock chips did, uh, did kind of escape. I should have uh, basically shoveled back in some dust in all directions. Uh, the fragments of quartz, that's the, you can see the bottom of the drill hole right there. Uh, certainly beneficial to not drill all the way through the rock traps the, uh, the blast inside the hole. So you can see sections of the, the drill are, uh, uh, are on many of these uh, pieces. So it basically split the rock right along my drill plane. So that, that works great. Now, 1% of the top layer of Mars seems to be perchlorate. So if I can blast hard rock using less than 0.02% by weight, this seems like a feasible way to blast hard rock on Mars. This project was part of Nexus Aurora, an open source space colonization project. 